First United Methodist Church has been a vital part of Gaston County and particularly Gastonia for years. From when we started as Shiloh Methodist Church to Main Street Methodist Church to now First United Methodist Church, we have been a part of this community. As we looked at the vision of our church and where we want to go, it's been clear to all of us that the vision of this church represents the vision of this community. This community is all about textiles, particularly in the past, but even now. And so we wanted to use the image of weaving and consider how we might weave Jesus Christ into the future of our community. We want to talk about why are we doing this now? Why enter a major project like this right now in the life of this church? And here's why, because God is blessing this church with amazing growth. Since 2013, we have 218 new members. 130 of those new members are age 40 or younger with lots of children. If you've been here on any particular Sunday, you may have seen children everywhere and that's wonderful. That's exactly what we want. Our church is giving more than it ever has, both in mission and in ministry. Our staff is fully in place for the first time in five years. Now is the time to rejuvenate and to look forward to what God is doing because all of the indicators are pointing up. Everything that church growth folks look at, membership, attendance, giving, it's all looking up. So we need to do this now to leave a legacy for the future generation. I've always been really proud of the fact that this church made a commitment at one point to stay a downtown church. Mm -hmm. Making that commitment to be here and serve this community uh, has always meant a lot to me. Our church really cares about our community. I feel like we are on the path of meeting people where they are in need, um, in downtown Gastonia and in other places, and trying to be the hands and the feet um, and be Jesus' face to them. The main issues that our weaving campaign will address are an easily identifiable entrance, security for our children, and handicapped accessibility. If you've been to our church, you know that it can be very confusing with all the doors. Where do you enter? Through the week, almost all of the doors are locked for security reasons. So we need an easily identifiable place where anybody coming to our church can enter. We need to do better with the security of our children. This new building will allow us to better take care of them both on Sunday morning and for our through the week school. We need to do better with handicapped accessibility. This new building will allow us to more easily get wherever we need to go in the three buildings on this side between Franklin Boulevard and Main Avenue. So this weaving campaign is significant because it allows us to address immediate needs for the future of this church in this community. I think we should continue to think about the future to be positive about what we are going to do to grow and to serve in our community. This is a big project that we are undergoing, but there comes a time when you have to take a big step. So I, I think we just have to continue and try to do what we can with what we can. So the question that I hear a lot is, can we do this? The answer is yes, we can do this. Our goal is to raise $5 million over three years, asking people to give over and above what they normally give to the church during that time. We believe we can do that. So the takeaway for you that we are asking you is number one, enjoy this 
God is active in the life of this church, doing amazing things. Give God thanks, enjoy it. Number two, pray for this weaving campaign. Number three, be a part of sharing accurate information. You've seen the brochures, you've heard the story, tell others about it. The fourth thing we would ask of you is to prayerfully consider how you might financially give to this campaign. Our goal is to have every single person giving to the future of what God is doing through this great church. Pam and I are committed to this project. We are excited about giving above our tithe so that this community can know the good news of Jesus Christ in a powerful way through this local church. God has blessed this church with so many gifts, and it's our privilege to give back to God and to go above and beyond as God paints God's vision for our entire community through this weaving campaign.